Hello, and welcome to Studio Snack Sandwich. Today I'm going to take a quick look at Iron Bank here. Now, this is going to be kind of a sporadic, quick uh, overview video. I just want to talk a little bit about this uh, project and why I'm pretty bullish on it and why I really like this project. Um, as you can see, the APYs right now are quite good. These are the supplying APYs. These are like because you supply WFTM you and someone borrows it at 6%, they pay you 2%, right? So these are the supply APYs, but here are the reward APYs. Now, currently they just launched the IB token and they are incentivizing the supplying of tokens here. Okay, now there's a full, uh, a full um, article here on Medium by Iron Bank and it goes through like how many tokens it's going to give or how many tokens per like, uh, per pool here per token like per supply you supply this this is how many tokens are going to be given to this over the next two weeks so you have two weeks to to put your tokens in here and get these ib token rewards now there's a few reasons why i'm bullish on this token and this protocol let's talk first about the protocol what is iron bank iron bank is also here at yearn finance so if you click here you will go to iron bank and you will see that the market liquidity of all these tokens is the same as the market liquidity of these tokens. It's the same contracts. It's the same back end. It's just a, they give you an alternative alternative front end just in case you know the urine one's down or you don't like to use the urine one for whatever reason because the urine one doesn't have so easy like supply and borrow on both sides whereas here it's quite easy to, to differentiate your supply versus your borrow and stuff. So it's just a preference of front end, right? And then there's also the uh, possibility of coming here to claim your uh, Iron Bank tokens when you have some to claim, which you won't be able to do on the Yearn Finance website right now. So what does Iron Bank do? Uh, I'll just quickly explain to you because I think most people know, but I'll just explain it anyways. And that is they supply, like it's an open permissionless market, right? Anyone can supply here and anyone can borrow here. However, they also... So they also lend a lot of this liquidity to protocols. So you're in finance. Um, Ab, uh, Alpha Homora also borrows from Iron Bank on uh, Fent on uh, on Ethereum mainnet. So protocols can apply to Iron Bank to borrow from them, kind of with like soft liquidations. So basically, you know, if you're going to get liquidated here, then you know. You're not gonna. No one's gonna tell you, right? It's just gonna. You're just gonna get liquidated, right? But like, if you are a protocol and you sign up with them, they're gonna assess your your risk level. They're going to, you know, kind of do their due diligence on your contracts and make sure you're you're solid and you have a good track record. And then maybe they will give you like a line of credit, or it's not really like a line of credit. It's like this. You still gotta like put some assets up front but they're not going to just like liquidate you on the spot they're going to like message you and tell you hey you know fill up your collateral or pay off some of your debt and stuff like this so it kind of works like this is as i understand it i'm not 100 percent sure how it works but i'm pretty sure that's what's going on so anyways the point is that you know it's a permissionless market anyone can use it anyone can supply and anyone can borrow however they have some partnerships with protocols that constantly borrow so like Yearn is borrowing a lot of funds from Iron Bank already and using those to leverage up their yield farms. OK, so as you can see, APYs are pretty good. And of course, as you know, as I shill it, as other people shill it, it, these APYs will decrease over time and they will go down. But anyways, you can try to get in early and try to get some of these tokens. I can tell you for sure that I am already uh, supplying here and farming these tokens on my other wallets now. Why do I like this token? What do I like about this token? This token is going to use the uh, locking system of Andre's solid or Ouroboro or however you say that. And basically you, you, you can lock it for, I did a video on it. I will link to that video at the end of this one and you can watch that video if you don't know what it does. But basically the key feature is you can lock up your tokens, right? But you will be able to transfer them. You'll be able to sell them if you want. You'll be able to perhaps at some point use them as collateral. And they will also give you fees. Because as you can see here, there's a spread, right? Uh, you know, 1.97 and 5.94. And then a percentage of this is taken by the protocol and used as like a safety reserve. However, 
With this system, with Iron Bank, they take a lot of that and they give it back to this to the stakers. So if you have the Iron Bank token, you can stake it in the future. You can't stake it right now, but you'll be able to stake it in the future, lock it up for four years, and then, or you know, one year, two years, three years, or four years, or some sort of time frame, and then you will be able to get your sh a share of a pro rata share of these these. Uh, these fees here, these tokens, they're going to sell them all, convert them to some sort of stablecoin probably, and give them to you as a stablecoin. Now, I really like this feature. Um, I'm pretty bullish on this. Uh, one more thing that's that's pretty like pretty important in my opinion is that when this two week stops, there's going to still be some some emissions. However, they're going to be heavily reduced. Or I, I would, based on my you know my former knowledge of the this team they're probably going to make it very 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 conservative because they already have like urine borrowing from them they don't need to incentivize people to borrow they don't need that it's just like urine's already gonna borrow it so it's like they don't need to like get people to to use it right now they do have an article here that talks about the the ib tokenomics you can go through this carefully and read all this if you want and uh, try to understand things better they do talk a little bit here about ouroboro and uh, like the system of this ouroboros but like i said i'm going to link to my video at the end of this and you can watch that um so this is basically this initial distribution okay of all these tokens that they're giving out right now and then they're going to you know incentivize amas in the future they're going to give some to contributors and stability and safety it's just this is just like a pool of tokens just in case something happens in the future and they need to like take some of these funds and use them to you know reimburse whatever you know like this is just stability and safety maybe they can use this as to to fund a bug bounty right and uh protocol owned liquidity and initial liquidity so they used one percent already to supply to a spooky swap pool which i'll show you in a second and then they're going to use two percent to incentivize people to supply more and then buy it back like the like buyback protocol owned liquidity okay so here is the current spooky swap pool you can come here and buy this token if you want um as you can see the uh, the graph is pretty you know standard launch graph like let's put it to like one minute so yeah if we take it to down to one minute uh can't quite see everything but yeah there's obviously the initial pump right and then now there's a kind of dump and it's kind of finding its price, its fair value price. So I think maybe it, it, it might be safer now than it was, you know, 10 minutes ago or 20 minutes ago. But, uh, you know, if you're gonna trade this token, you know, trade it with your own your own risk. I, I have no idea how to trade. I don't like trading, so I'm not going to participate in this. I'm just going to farm my tokens and see what they're worth in the future. And hopefully I plan on actually staking them for quite a long time and just getting the fees and just turning this token that I'm farming into a like a yield bearing asset that I will just hold and not worry about the price so much. I've been building up a lot more of these in the past. And if you go through my video library, you will see that I have been trying my best to to build more of these few tokens that I'm bullish on for fees, not bullish on price action. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you so much for watching. And if you have any questions, you know, leave them in the description or maybe you can head over to their Discord and so forth and uh, check them out and ask them. Okay, thank you so much and goodbye.